What is up, Soldier Nation, Fit Cult members? We're coming to you from the gym, and that right now is something that a lot of people are dealing with. With COVID-19 going on, a lot of gyms are still closed. There's some people, though, that are starting to get back into the gym. So this video, we're gonna go over everything that you should not be doing when you first get back into the gym, and then telling you exactly what you should be doing. Because let's face it, if you are a experienced lifter, if you've been lifting for years, you've probably lost some strength and some size by doing bodyweight workout. I mean, let's be real. There's only so much you can maintain with triangle push-ups and squatting your dog. So right now, we're gonna be going over what you should not do that you're gonna probably want to do. These common mistakes that a lot of people are gonna make, you guys can steer clear and not be one of them. All right, so the first thing that a lot of people are gonna probably want to do when coming back into the gym is testing their one rep max. This is something you should not do. We get a lot of people on our programs because we test every so often, or if someone signs up, they always go through a testing phase. We get it, you're significantly weaker the day you get back into the gym, so the thought of retesting your maxes and basing your next training cycle on those numbers can be appealing. The only problem with this is that you'll gain most of your strength back really quickly. So if you're hitting it hard again, all that strength is gonna come back in two to four weeks. So instead of retesting all of your maxes, what you should do is train according to how you feel. Now, there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. Typically, you base things off of percentages. If you keep a notebook or if you're training in our app, you know what your percentages are. We give those to you. Any smart program is gonna have that. So the weights you use may be significantly less than what you're used to doing, but I think you'll be surprised how much stronger you'll get. It's gonna be really quick. If you've ever come back from an injury, you've probably experienced this quick progress once you were cleared and able to go full speed again. All right, the next tip is to not go overboard on cardio. Now, if you've been at home staying up with your conditioning, it's typically a little bit easier than staying up with muscle mass. So a lot of people have probably even maybe gotten better shape in terms of their cardio capacity during this. But if you're like me, you've probably let yourself get a little bit fluffy and that's okay. What you need to do though is ease back into cardio. And the reason for this is, is because if we're looking to gain muscle and you do tons and tons of cardio, those two things are diametrically opposed and you're not gonna be able to get those gains back as fast as if you were to do a moderate amount of cardio. So a lot of people are probably thinking when the lockdown is over, I'm gonna wake up, do my cardio every single day to get into that summer physique shape. No one likes to see their hard earned gains go down the drain. But just remember that if you wanna give yourself the best opportunity to gain muscle that you've lost, the best bet is to make sure you do moderate amount of cardio with weight training. Muscle mass drives metabolism. So if you want to give yourself the most opportunity to shed unwanted body fat, come back from quarantine majoring in weightlifting and minoring in cardio. You need to let your body adapt to weight training again. And remember, you're going to bounce back quickly. Give yourself two to four weeks to focus on regaining muscle and strength that you've lost. Hammering away on cardio will just delay that process and is the last thing you wanna do right now. All right, the third thing you guys should really avoid is over dieting. Now, there's been so many snacks consumed by me during this quarantine. It's easy, you're at the house. The idea of dieting is hard when you don't have something to diet for. We don't know when those summer trips that we made before quarantine are actually gonna be able to be taken. So really, you're sitting around the house, a little bit bummed out about everything. I understand, I'm there with you guys. But coming back, you're gonna wanna have this urge to over diet and you shouldn't do this. So this tip really goes hand in hand with cardio. If the quarantine 15 hits you hard, maybe even quarantine 25 for some people, then your natural response is probably to throw yourself into caloric deficit. This will really be counterproductive to bouncing back quickly. You wanna give your body everything it needs to ensure its best opportunity for growth and recovery. So if you toss yourself into caloric deficit, you're just gonna be swimming against the current. Remember when you were told you can't gain muscle and lose body fat at the same time? Well, this is one of those rare scenarios you may be able to achieve that goal. And this again, it's, it's the same effect of when you come off an injury, you're gonna bounce back very quickly. So make sure you're giving your body adequate nutrition. If your body doesn't have that, you're not gonna be able to gain that muscle that you lost. So what I recommend is start at maintenance and adjust based on results. 
Maintenance basically means that you're not losing or gaining any weight. Doing this will help make sure you're fueling your body with enough to get your gains back, but also keep yourself in check so you don't gain a bunch of unwanted body fat. From there, you'll begin to put back on muscle and your body's caloric demand is gonna increase and that will naturally put you into a slight caloric deficit. Also, make sure you're eating enough protein to build muscle effectively and then you're gonna to wanna to check in on your energy levels from week to week, making adjustments based on how you're responding and how your energy levels are. The idea here is that we don't wanna just come into the gym trying to pick up where we left off. It's just gonna leave you gassed. So the last thing we wanna make sure you don't do is neglecting your prehab. I know we're beating a dead horse here, but don't forget that your strength is gonna come back quickly and your beach muscles aren't the only thing that have become atrophied and deconditioned during lockdown. If you spend a little extra time on the muscles that help you maintain structural balance, you'll decrease your chance of injury. So we wanna make sure we're spending enough time warming up for the workouts and then also stretching afterwards. The goal of prehab is to prevent injuries before they happen. So as a lifter or an athlete, your prehab should focus on bringing up weaknesses that lead to muscular imbalance that ultimately will get you hurt. The things we typically need to spend the most time on are our shoulders, everything from external rotators to other stabilizing muscles, hip flexors, hip rotators, and the groin. These are the places we see a lot of injuries in our athletes and our app members. So by making sure that we target the shoulders, the hips, the rotators, you can do this in your warm up. you can do this in between sets, but if you're not doing this, you're going to see an increase in injury. And that means you're not gonna be in the gym training. You're gonna be at home, depressed, even longer possibly than you were during quarantine. So hopefully you guys have seen from this video what you guys shouldn't do. I know a lot of people are gonna be excited, ready to get back and wanna just jump back in. But you also need to realize your central nervous system hasn't been doing heavy lifts. It hasn't been doing those deadlifts. It hasn't been doing those high impact cardio sessions of sprinting on an incline treadmill. So you're gonna make sure you want to follow these steps that I've laid out in this video to keep you in the gym, keep you healthy and making gains. So as always, smash that like button. We're excited for everyone to, to slowly get back into it. I know our app members are really excited. If you guys wanna check out more, head over to fitnessculture.com. And like always, we'll see you next time.